Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Cookmas where every day in December I'm sharing a new recipe. Today's recipe is ham and Swiss sliders. You're gonna take one package of the Hawaiian rolls and take a knife and split those down the middle. You're also going to need a nine by 13 pan. And on the bottom half, you're going to add some mayonnaise. I just kind of eyeballed it, just spread it around as evenly as possible so there wasn't any dry spots on the bread. Next, I'm going to take some sliced deli ham and I folded mine over several times to kind of make a triangle shape. I didn't want a lot of the meat like hanging over so I found that this was the most, I guess, beneficial way to do that. And it overlapped a little bit in the middle, which was fine. And of course, if you want to add more meat, you definitely can. And then you take a couple pieces of Swiss cheese. Again, mine was from the deli, so the slices are pretty big. So I only needed four to cover the bottom. Then you could put the lid back on. And then I do have four tablespoons of melted butter that I'm going to add half tablespoon of onion powder. A tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And a half teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I probably said that wrong because I say it different every time I say it. But when you're done with that, you're going to mix it up. And once everything is mixed up really nice and smoothly, you can either brush it on top with a pastry brush, or I just kind of spooned mine on top of it. And the original recipe does call for poppy seeds to sprinkle that on top as well, but I left that off just because I knew my family wouldn't like that. So once you get all the sauce mixture on top, you're supposed to let it set for about 10 minutes before you put it in the oven just so it can kind of soak through before it starts cooking. But you preheat your oven for 350 degrees. And cover it with foil so that the top doesn't burn. I tried to kind of bring it up in the middle to make like a tent so it wasn't laying on the sauce and rubbing off the sauce, if that makes sense. But I covered it. And let it sit for 10 minutes. Then I baked it for 10 minutes. And then I took off the aluminum foil and cooked it for another about two to three minutes. And this is what it looks like when it's done. So most of the mixture soaks through, but there is some like of the onion powder and the mustard on top. And it's just super good. It's so easy to make and it's a really good recipe for like a lunch or a party an appetizer of some sort. So I will put the full directions below and the recipe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.